master. I'm pleased to see that you're not dead. I was afraid that I wouldn't be able to kill you myself. Hey guys and Gungans, let's get to talking about one of the species we all know and love. You know, those tall furry ones, with the crossbows and the cool forest planet. Yeah, the Kietsu. I was thinking the same thing. The Kyoto are a species who have a dark past and origin. It was the death of writer and director Akira Kurosawa that sparked the idea for their creation. The episode Bounty Hunters of the beloved Clone Wars series was dedicated to them, as well as the character Imbo, the first Kyoto on screen. Please tell me in the comments if I'm pronouncing this right. I don't really know how to pronounce their name. It just looks cool, and the species look cool, so I made a video on it. Imbo bears the iconic Kyotso war helmet and an obvious remark to the conical Asian farm helmet. Imbo appears to have a rough green skin with sunken yellow pupilless eyes. But I'm assuming Joy. I thought that other guy from the sequel trilogy was a Kyotso too. It says so in my database. Well, that's right, Proxy. They too are Kyotso. There are two Kyotso phenotypes, or braces, or however you want to put it. The ones that look more like Imbo, and another type that have pinkish skin and slitted eyes. Both types wear the signature helmet, so no matter what, they'll stand out in a crowd, much like Monkey D. Luffy from One Punch Man. I do not believe that that is the correct anime. Shut up, Proxy. This is Star Wars time, not anime time. So, back to the Kyotso. Their home planet is Fatrong. Once again, don't know if I'm pronouncing that correctly where they fill the roles of farmers, merchants, and, you guessed it, bounty hunters. It makes sense. Imbo was the first Kyotso on screen, and he was a bounty hunter. And let's be honest, what species isn't known for being a bounty hunter in the Star Wars universe? Okay, so maybe not this cutie. Their culture is built on a strong sense of duty and honor. I would say justice, but justice is relative, and so are their morals, especially when they're being paid. Speaking of being paid for fighting, one of the biggest parts of their culture are Clovix that dominate their home planet. These are divided groups of warriors that work for hire and all hold their own unique standards and use of different fighting styles. Though their culture had more to do with relying on a code, much of their lore and myths surrounded heroes that went beyond culture's grasp. I guess that explains what Imbo is doing fighting with Jedi. When it comes to working with others, it's not their strong suit. Most Kyotso can learn and understand Galactic Basic, but much like Wookiees, they can't seem to speak it. Lando even has a please speak some basic please moment with Imbo. Since we're already on the topic of lips, well, at least how people use them, it's important to mention Kyotso cannot breathe in most normal atmospheres, leading them to wearing masks, much like the Keldor and other Halloween-loving species of our beloved galaxy. Another physical distinction between these flat-hatted friends and other humanoids is their sheer strength. Fatrong is a planet with stronger-than-average gravity, which means that Imbo could beat Chewie in an arm wrestle. Maybe. Well, that's it for this video. Please like and subscribe to see more videos on the enormous galaxy we all know and love. And if I don't see you again, good afternoon, good evening, and good night. Roger, roger.